Hey, howdy, hey, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Um, for today's video, I'm going to be doing my Drag Race Roundup for this week. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Come join the Samateur Hour family. Come be one of my minutes in this hour. Um, and yeah, let's get this video started. <laughs> Alright, alright, so, um, for today's video, obviously, I'm doing my Drag Race Roundup, and, um, obviously, um, this week we have the finale of UK to talk about, um, Drag Race Season 13, and all the things, and just sort of what we can expect moving forward, um, but before we get into that, I wanted to go ahead and say something real quick to you guys, um, if there is, obviously, Drag Race UK just finished up, and we don't currently have any new season start- any new premiere dates for any new seasons. So for a bit here, I'm going to have some more open times on my um, schedule for uploads. So if there's any sort of content you want to see at all, please let me know down below. Um, I'm really trying to change things up, sort of try new things here, and see what goes well, what does well, and do all the things. So if there's any sort of content you want to see me try out, please let me know down below. Um, I'm always open to your ideas, and I love getting suggestions. Some of the best videos I get are come from your ideas, and truly, truly are some of the best ones. So, please don't hesitate to comment down below. But, now let's get into Drag Race UK finale, and all the things with that. Um, obviously this week for Drag Race UK with finale, they had to do a song for a little bit of love, where they had to write their own verse, do all the things, um... It was fine, I liked it. I do think the song felt a little bit weird. Um, Taste was the best one, period, of that performance. Um, Bimini was good, Ellie was fine, Lawrence was fine. Um, I do think Taste was the best, point blank, period. Um, I also want to talk about how it was nice to see all the queens come back into the workroom, or come back on the main stage and um, be all together. For the finale, I just thought that was really nice moment, um, especially getting to see Veronica Green and Jenny Lemon, and it seems like Veronica Green was definitely, um, saving some of her outfits, uh, for Drag Race Season th UK Season 3, of course, which, by the way, according to the rumors, has wrapped up filming, so that should be coming out at some point this year as well. Again, none of this is confirmed, but just letting you know. Um, but for Drag Race UK, obviously it was really nice to get to see all the Lemonade Queens come back um, for the for the crowning and get to see all the things. Um, obviously in the end, the winner this season was Lawrence Chaney. Um, huge congr congratulations to Lawrence Chaney. So well deserved, such a good queen. And honestly, um, it was either her or Bimini at this point. So like, I was fine either way. Um, yeah. So, congratulations to Lawrence, um, well-deserved, very, very, very funny queen, very good queen, very glad she won this season. Um, so obviously Drag Race UK is all wrapped up, um, until season three, <coughs> until season three, um, we don't have an official air date for that, but we'll probably find out later on in this year. It is indeed ha Aaron this year, like I said. Um, but that's all Drag Race UK. We still haven't gotten an official premiere date for uh, Down Under. My guess is it will probably start airing at some point in April. Again, none of this, none of this confirmed. Um, this is all me speculating. But it would make sense, I think, for it to be in April because they announced the cast already. So they're probably not going to want to wait with the cast for too long before they announce the date. Um, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get an air date in April. Again, none of this confirmed. Just give me my thoughts. But, um, Down Under's, oh, hasn't started yet, but we'll get there eventually. With season 13, um, now we're going to talk about this week's episode and what's going on next week and all the things. Obviously, this week was a, uh, commercial challenge where they had to do branding, do, sell their own soda, all the things. Um, some of them really rose to the occasion. Some of them went a little flat. 
Did you see what I did there? Soda flat. Anyways. Um, yeah, no, some of them went a little flat. I don't necessarily think Tina Burner deserved to be in the bottom two. But, um, unfortunately, Tina was in the bottom two. And unfortunately, Tina went home. Um, I do kind of wish Tina Burner had gone a little bit further. But then again, I mean, I don't think Tina Burner was going to win Drag Race. So, ultimately, I guess it's not too big of a difference. Um, but... Maybe that's just me. Um, in terms of the runway, I thought this runway theme was really fun. Um, Rosé killed it. Rosé looked great. I'm gonna put a picture over here of Rosé, because Rosé just ate this runway so good. So well done. Um, I also really like Simone, of course, because Simone, every week, kills the runway. Um, but overall, this was just a really fun runway. The Beast Couture. Um, yeah. No, I really liked it. So, obviously, that's Drag Race Season 13. Next week, we have a, um, roast of all the Miss Congenialities, or three to be exact, which will be Heidi in Closet, Nina West, and Valentina. It's me, Valentina. Um, I hope there's a mask joke at some point. I'm sure there will be. Um, I'm not quite sure who to expect to do well. Um, I'm a little nervous for Simone. I'm nervous for Utica. I'm nervous for um, Mick a little bit. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens, obviously. But I'm sure it will be a fun challenge. Um, and yeah, we're definitely starting to wrap up Season 13, of course. Um, I, If I'm being honest with you guys, it feels like it's been going on forever at this point. Um, I love the Queens. It's just if the season, because there were so many episodes where no one got eliminated, it feels like it's been going on too long almost. Maybe that's just me. Definitely comment down below what you think. But that also might just be because I'm waiting for All-Star 6 at this point, you know? Because All-Star 6, I'm waiting for the cast to be announced, so we can really get into it. I'm excited for that. Um, that should be coming out, hopefully. The cast announcement, hopefully coming out in the next few weeks. Again, none of this is confirmed. This is me all speculating. But it would make sense because they want to get it out probably before the season 13 finale. So they can go right from season 13 to All-Star 6. And yeah, that's just where I'm guessing things are going to go. Again, we'll have to see what happens. But, um, I'm really excited for All-Star 6. I'm excited for all the things upcoming in the world of Drag Race, of course. Um, we also have Dracula Season 4 at some point this year. I'm not quite sure when. Um, Canada, Holland, um, UK3, like I said, Spain. There's so much Drag Race coming out this year. It's going to be a really, really exciting rest of the year, of course. Um, but yeah, that brings me to the end of this roundup, I think. Um, like I said at the beginning, if there's any sort of content you want to see me create, please let me know down below. Um, I will be back here tomorrow, hopefully with the Makeup Monday. Assuming there are no new announcements, I'm probably just going to do Makeup Monday. And I want to do full drag makeup for you guys, because I haven't done that in a bit. So, that will be up tomorrow. We'll have some Rose Quartz Fantasy. And yeah, um, I will see you guys back here tomorrow. Have a good rest of your day. Make sure to like Comment down below and hit that share button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And yeah, let's get it to a thousand subscribers and I have some cool things dropping. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Have a good rest of your day. Bye guys.